We're driving up north to one of Judaism's four holy cities, Tiberias, located on the Sea of Galilee or the Kinneret. The Kinneret is Israel's main source of fresh drinking water, and it's also a great vacation spot, featuring beautiful views and pleasant nighttime breezes. Now let's meet up with our tour guide, Ruvain, at the grave of the great Rabbi Akiva. This is one of my favorite places in Israel. This is the grave of Rabbi Akiva, who not only changed his health, but he changed Judaism. He was an illiterate until he was 40. And he met this beautiful lady, Rachel. And Rachel said, I'll marry you only if you learn how to read and write and learn Torah. And he saw this process of water dripping on a rock, and he said, if the water can wear through the rock, my heart can be open to Torah. And he becomes the greatest sage of his generation. And many people say he's the greatest sage since Moses, Moshe Rabbeinu. And he's buried here in this great city of Tiberias. The Mishnah, which is the codification of the old law, is published here in one of the four great holy cities of Israel in the year 200 by his student student, Yehuda Hanasi. Tiberias was one of the major seats of Jewish life following the destruction of the Second Temple. And many great rabbis lived and taught here. One of Judaism's most prolific religious writers and authorities, Rabbi Moshe ben Maimon, also known as the Rambam, is buried in Tiberias near the graves of the sages of the Mishnah and Gomorrah. Tiberius on the waters of the Kinneret was one of the great sources of Torah learning and the last place the Sanhedrin, the court of 71, sat. 